Hi, my name is Tanvi. I'm currently a senior majoring in computer science. So what is computer science? Computer science is mostly focusing on writing and programming software, as well as creating applications for mobile devices, developing websites. And it's a really a lot more software focused than computer engineering and electrical engineering, which teach you a little bit more about the hardware. So with computer science, there are actually three different majors that you can take. You can just major in normal computer science. You can major in secure computing if you're interested in cybersecurity, maybe a little bit more about networking. And secure computing will allow you to take more of those courses rather than just theory. There's also a data-centric computing major, which is for students who are interested in data science and, and, and analytics. And again, some of those specific data science courses will replace some of your theory courses instead of that you would normally take as a CS major. With computer science, there are five major tracks of study, human-computer interaction, knowledge, information, and data, media and creative computing, scientific computing, and systems and networking. So with all of these, you can do research in in any of these fields as as a major. And uh, these these are kind of fields in which all of your electives would be based. You can obviously take electives in multiple tracks. So say you wanted to take computational biology and you wanted to take human-computer interaction. There are no restrictions on what electives you can take. Beyond that, there are, there are a few minors that pair really well with computer science. And those are human-computer interaction, cybersecurity, and mathematics. Some of these minors are almost built in, where you only have to take one or two more courses. Um, so if, you're, if that's a field that you're interested in, it's really easy to get a minor in that as well. Beyond that, there is a five-year bachelor's uh, BSMS, which is a bachelor's and a master's program, which you can also apply for in your junior year of computer science. And with that, if you choose to take that program, then in your senior year, I think three or four of your electives would count, would double count towards your master's degree. And so with that, you can finish the rest of your master's degree work just within one year. Post-college, computer science majors can work in pretty much any industry. Just you name a company, they probably have a need for computer science. Post like we have students working at Google, Facebook, Microsoft, big companies like that. You can work in fintech or financial technology. So you can work at banks, you can work at pretty much any company. You can also work in research positions in labs, such as Argonne or Lawrence Livermore, if, if you're more interested in a research-focused career. Beyond school, some of the clubs that you can get involved in as a CS major, we have a, web, we have a great web development club. I'm a part of the Association for Women in Computing, and we have lots of different opportunities. Beyond that, there are also hackathons. And of course, there, there's research. You can obviously, you can reach out to professors from any of these areas if you're interested. But there's also the Hume Center for National Security and Technology, where a lot of computer science majors do research. And there are also design teams, which may have some development positions. What does human-computer interaction course minor look like? So the easiest way to see what courses are needed for that is to just go to cs.vt.edu and then there should be a link to find uh, the HCI minor pretty easily. I'm not sure off the top of my head what courses are a part of that. And I asked if you could repeat what minors computer science students normally choose. Yeah, um, a lot of students uh, minor in math. For a math minor, there are only two extra courses that you have to take one of which may double count. So it's very easy. You only have to take Diffie-Q as well as cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is also a really easy minor because a lot of the courses can double count towards your electives for your degree. Is it doable to have two minors in addition to the CS major? Yes, definitely. Again, it depends on which minors you're doing. If there's not a lot of overlap, it might you might have um, some semesters with more courses than less. But yeah, they pair pretty well. What projects would you expect to undertake in classes? It depend. It really depends on what class you're taking. But we have, there are three different classes which are focused on data structures and algorithms. Um, and so with that, you might, you learn all of your basic data structures, graphs, trees, arrays, lists, stacks, queues, stuff like that. And you, you implement projects with these data structures. There's also more systems and networking focused classes where you learn C, you learn memory management, and there are, there are projects focused with that. So really, it depends on your class and as well as your elective. So if you want to take app development, you, you may end up with a mobile app um, or a web app at the end of that class. 
are the classes case study format, lecture based, and or collaboration based? There's a lot of project based classes, though obviously there there are lectures and you will be learning theory as well. Um, a lot of classes also allow collaboration for projects, so you you might be working. But again, it just depends from class to class, project to project. This so this may be a hard question to answer, but what are the major differences between computer science and BIT? BIT is a lot more focused on the business aspect of, I guess, computer science. I don't know too much about the major, but I know they don't have to take as many of the data structures and algorithms classes as us. I don't think they have to do any of the systems and networking track courses. What coding languages does this major mainly focus on? We uh, we learn Java pretty in depth, and we learn C. And there are three classes, I believe, in both of those, uh, which you have to take. Um, beyond that, it depends on your electives. You may learn Python if you take data analytics focused classes. You can learn, uh, I don't know, HTML, CSS, JavaScript if you're taking web dev. Uh, yeah, it really depends. Um, but the ones that you will for sure have to take are C and Java. Do you please go more in depth with regards to bioinformatics? And so with bioinformatics, that's that's a course you can take. I would really suggest that you can Google like VTCS bioinformatics and you should be able to pull up like a syllabus or at least a little blurb on what the class takes. I haven't taken it myself, so I don't want to give you false information. Is it recommended for students who major in computer science to minor in business? I would say that's that's a very personal choice to make. If you are interested in business, then you should definitely go ahead and do that. Um, I wouldn't say it's like one of the top minors that students have, but I do know people who have minored in business. It's like it's definitely doable with a CS degree. Is a double major in applied discrete mathematics and computer science a good idea? Are there extracurricular programs that are good for someone in both of these majors? Yeah, I know. I know uh, a few people who are taking, who are doing a double major in math and computer science. And applied discrete math is really nice because I think you have a little bit more overlap than just the normal math major. And I, I don't know too much about that. Yeah, uh, regarding extracurricular programs, there are obviously the same sorts of opportunities. I think there's also an association for women in math, which may focus more on math than computer science. What theory classes are included with the NCS major? So you can take theory of algorithms, I think. You have to take comparative languages, which gives you a chance to see how programming languages have developed and evolved from early days. You can take formal languages, which teaches you about finite discrete automata. I don't know if that makes if that's gonna like really help with anything. But there are really only two theory classes that you have to take. Did you need to know any programming languages before declaring the computer science major? No, you do not. We have a great CS1114, which if you're interested in majoring, compu in majoring in computer science, I would strongly recommend you take that. That class really starts from the basics. You don't have to come in knowing anything. They will teach you what, like, what is a for loop, what is an if statement stuff like that. And they'll, they'll teach you the basics of object-oriented object orient, oriented programming as well. Um, so no, you don't have to come in. Obviously, it, it does help knowing computer science, but you don't have to. Are there many research opportunities for computer science? Yeah, there are. If you reach out to any professors within any of these tracks, they're pretty responsive and looking for undergraduate students who can do research with that. And I would say there are probably even if you look at other departments, like say you're really interested in biology, there might be some like data analytics roles with that as well, because it, there's not always just like what lab stuff in the sciences. So you might you might have some luck if you look at other departments as well. There's a question. Is the CS uh, 1114 a Python class? Nope, it's Java. And if there's already a basic knowledge in programming in two languages. Um, should they still take the basic class you were mentioning? Yeah, it, you're not allowed. It's a prerequisite for the 2000 level um, CS2114, which is like, I think, Foundations of Data Structures class that you have to take. So unless you have credit for that 1114 in some way, yes, you're going to have to take it.
there might be, yeah, you're going to have to take it. <laughs> Do you want to mention why you're in this major yourself? Yeah, I really like computer science because it, for me, it's a way to kind of stay more a general engineer and be able to work in pretty much any industry or any, um, any company that I would want to be in. So I really just like the variety of career options I have, um, as well as the variety in which of, of things I can do. Like one day I can be programming my web app, um, which, which I like. Um, but then I could also be learning more about theory of computer science. Um, so there's, there's just lots of variety in what you can take. And I guess you're not really limited in any ways. Do you talk to your professors or advisors when it comes to choosing the field of computer science you want to get into? Yes, I have. And that I think I would say professors are really helpful in like if you're interested in grad school versus going into industry and you're just not really sure um, when you should look at what I think professors would be a great resource for that. But if you pretty much already know you want to go into industry, like I, I'm not sure how much professors can help. Advisors are also great, and they can they can uh, show you like opportunities um, within the department to make maybe your resume stronger um, when applying to internships. Is there anything else you would like to add? I I hope to see some of you guys in in the CS lounge. Yeah, we have we have a CS lounge at the bottom of uh, on the basement floor of McBride, where all the CS majors are. Um, so it's always a fun time there. Awesome. Well, thank you. 